In this video, I will show you how to customize the status bar in Microsoft Word. Let's get started. So here at the very bottom of Microsoft Word's window, we have what's called the status bar. And this is meant to, at a glance, give us information about our document. So as I'm building this masterpiece of a document and I'm adding words, this information is updated. So for example, I can just at a glance see that I'm on page one of two and that I've typed 649 words. And that number changed as I added some additional words. So it's a running total and it's updated. And simply at a glance, I can see how many words I've written and so forth. There's other information being brought to me down here on the status bar. For example, it says my accessibility is good and that text predictions are on. To make some changes to the status bar, all you have to do is right click on it and then either uncheck or check different pieces of information that you would like to be included on the status bar. So if I'm using sections in my document, this would be particularly helpful. Turning on sections for the status bar would help me always know what section of my document I'm working in. Similarly, we have page number that's already turned on, maybe line number if you want to know specifically which line you're on, or column. I'm going to turn those off as well as section. In addition to word count, you could turn on character count to know exactly how many characters have been typed in your document, including spaces. Spelling errors could also be shown. You could enable track changes. And what that would do is it would just tell you if track changes is on or off. But notice that if you click on it, it does switch so that you can turn on track changes or turn it off. This is an option for the status bar that many of you will find helpful, and that is caps lock. When you type on the keyboard and enable caps lock, Microsoft Word will show you that down here in the status bar. If you tap it again to turn off caps lock, it disappears from the status bar. That's one that I think I'll leave on for my instance of Microsoft Word. And we have several other options as well. You'll notice that the last few in this list will be found here at the right side of the status bar. If you find that you never use the focus option, you never use view shortcuts or the zoom slider, feel free to just hide those by unchecking them. For me, I'm going to keep the status bar fairly simple and uncluttered, so I may remove a couple of these, but personally, I'm gonna leave caps lock on as I'm constantly accidentally tapping caps lock. So I hope you'll consider customizing the status bar just by right-clicking on it and changing or trying out some of these options for what shows up on your status bar. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below the video or by supporting me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate you. You're amazing. And for anyone that's curious about synth pop or any of the bands in this document, please check out my website, synthpopreviews.blogspot.com. Also, the YouTube channel, Synth Pop Reviews, kind of a little side project of mine. And for those of you that want to learn Microsoft Word at a deeper level, but also starting at the very beginning, please watch my video, Microsoft Word for Beginners, The Complete Course. This will take you from basically no experience to being able to use Microsoft Word very, very effectively. So please check that out. Thank you.